Star Wars, one of the biggest franchises ever. I don't know what it is with this universe, but I just absolutely love it. It's not only the movies that I love, even though I think that Star Wars A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back are some of the best movies of all time. I really like episode 6 and 7. I think episode 8 is decent. Even with the ones I don't love, like episodes 1, 2, and 9, I still manage to find things I like in it. And episode 3, oh man, comedy genius right there. So love has blinded you? Rogue One and Solo were also fun side adventures, and I think a Mandalorian is incredible along with Star Wars The Clone Wars, and so far I'm loving the new series The Bad Batch. Star Wars is just something that I love, and with May the 4th coming and going, I've been on a little bit of a Star Wars kick. The thing that probably stands out to me the most about Star Wars is that world it built. Instantly, from the first shot of action from Star Wars A New Hope, we see the scope and scale, followed by Rebels holding on for dear life. I honestly think that is one of the best establishing scenes in any movie, and one of the best intros for any movie. It truly it really is incredible, it's just too bad I'm stuck here on little old earth where me holding a laser sword and looking at the evil Darth Vader just can't come true. Oh my gosh, my dreams have been answered! Star Wars Vader Immortal, the art action adventure game came out in three chapters over their half a year with the first chapter coming out in May 2019 and ending with a third chapter releasing in the end of November in 2019. This game instantly blasts you into a world here as you start in a ship in the middle of a space battle only for you to head to Vader's castle on Mustafar and man, if you are a Star Wars fan, this is amazing because the world and graphics here are so amazing and immersive. When you look up in this game and see a Star Destroyer above you, I mean, holy crap, it is amazing. Amazing. When I talk about incredible immersion from Star Wars A New Hope, this is just like that, as that is such an incredible intro to this game, and the tone and feel of dread and exploration as you head into Vader's castle is also amazing as well. The ambiance and feeling that I get here I haven't gotten in many other VR games. The only other one so far that has had this great of level of immersion was Half-Life Alex. I mean, establishing a world and getting us into this world was just amazing. I love how it just blasts us straight into this narrative, and this narrative is mostly told visually, and the world around you is the this world is just bleeding through and every room and everywhere you go here feels like it was put in there for a purpose. This narrative as well I thought was really interesting as Vader's castle is the most rad place to have a narrative so us discovering slowly what is going on and the narrative slowly opening up to us and the ideas here are just very different and interesting for Star Wars to tackle. This story I thought was interesting and I was gripped the entire time but I think that I wasn't as driven with the narrative but I was more driven because of the world and world building because I just wanted to explore everything here. Not a knock on the narrative but the world is what made me to keep playing this game. Now this game has incredible pacing, it never feels like there's downtime and everything that is in here is incredible. I absolutely love it all the way here, the pacing never misses a beat and is all killer the entire time. That said though, there's a problem here because the game ends, and it's not my usual joke of why did the game have to end, but this game is just so short. Each episode here is about an hour, give or take, so this game wraps up pretty quickly and finishes around the 3 hour mark, and I wish there was DLC or just more game here because, man, this game was incredible with narrative and world building, I wish there was just more to explore and this game was just longer. I mean, 3 hours is very short for a narratively driven game, and the other game modes here were kinda lacking as well. Episode 3 has a fun wave mode called like the dojo, where you can train and unlock more famous lightsabers, and I tried it out for a bit, but for me, it wasn't everything I wanted, and I haven't Really return to that game mode since. The real stuff that you want to be playing is that narrative, which is really worth going back and replaying because it is so good. The replay value here might be a little lacking because these game modes aren't the best, and you really, the only thing you really want to return to is that narrative, which is so great. But if you're wondering if there are things to do day after day and to keep unlocking, I don't think there is. I just think that the game modes here are kind of lacking if you're not in a story based games and just replaying them. That said, though, the combat in those game modes are pretty good. I think the combat overall here, I think a solid of the lightsabers and you get more things the more you play so it won't spoil any abilities but i will say i think the game is a bit too easy i don't think i ever died and i don't think you can die in this game i wish there was a harder setting that way engagements could be a little bit more tricky and a little more advanced still though combat here was pretty solid but overall that story mode here is just incredible the narrative i found engaging with incredible world building the characters you meet here as well aren't these super obnoxious characters they're pretty small overall in their roles the main robot who's always next to you is intolerable and not super annoying. Every other character though is pretty minuscule in the grand scheme of things other than Vader. Seeing Darth Vader in VR is amazing. I'll be honest, I was intimidated the first time I saw him. It was just incredible. 
He's the standout here, and seeing him in first person, I just can't describe. It is amazing. Vader Immortal is a game that thrives on VR and being in that first person perspective, meeting these characters, seeing this road from your own eyes, discovering this castle, cutting up stormtroopers with your own lightsaber. It is just so amazing. Pacing is on point, but I totally see how some people have an issue with paying $30 for a three hour experience. That said, though, if you are a Star Wars fan, I think this is a no brainer. You have to play this. I know it is short, but what it lacks in quantity, it over delivers with quality and with that i'm going to say that star wars vader immortal is great that is for all three chapters i would give this an awesome if there's just more game here maybe a 10 hour star wars campaign that is in vr would get my awesome rating and i would love to see that anyways though what are your thoughts on vader immortal let me know down below also tell me if you want to see me review star wars tales from the galaxy's edge it's another Star Wars VR game, and if the demand is there, I'd be happy to do a review for it. Anyways, next time I will be doing a review for Batman Returns, and when that comes out, I'll see you then. Bye.